Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Dr. Vijayan Govinda Gupta. I am a urologist and a kidney stone surgeon present in New Delhi, India. So today's topic is kidney stones and the various treatment options. It is going to be a concise topic in which I will enumerate and give you a brief about all the hundreds of treatment options for kidney stone treatment that are available right now in New Delhi, especially at my clinic in India. So if you are suffering from kidney stones and you are exploring options for the surgical management of kidney stones, let me tell you the kidney stone treatment has gone through a massive, massive transformation in the past 10 years. From what used to be a morbid, open kind of a surgery, kidney stone treatments have now moved to minimally invasive, minimally painful, completely bloodless procedures that are quick to do. Uh, have a very rapid recovery rate and patients are able to return to their daily normal activities almost immediately in the next day. So leading this pack of innovations is basically changes in the machinery, the availability of very tiny, very microscopic endoscopes which can be placed through the urinary tract without giving any incisions, without giving any long, um, uh, big uh, uh, problems and with, 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 with uh, very few known complications. So the most innovative and the most upcoming treatment for this is something called as RIRS, also called as something called as retrograde intrarenal surgery or flexible urethroscopy or flexible rhinoscopy. These are basically very long scopes which have a flexible tip. So because of these, these scopes can be passed through the urinary meters, through the penis or through the meters in the females and can be threaded up the ureter and we can reach the kidneys. Because these scopes are flexible, these scopes can be utilized and these scopes will be moved around the entire renal system and each and every stone can be visualized, can be seen, can be extracted and then by using lasers like thulium or lasers like holep, these stones can be pulverized and vaporized. So without an incision, without a cut, the entire renal system is cleared, the patient has no bleeding, the patient has no infection and the patient can go back to their work on the next day. The only problem with RIRS is that this scope is usually meant to manage smaller size kidney stones. So for kidney stones which are between 1 and 1.5 centimeters, this technique can provide wonderful results. But as the stone grows larger, even the lot of people who are now beginning to use RIRS for staghorn and for bigger stones, but as the stone bulk becomes larger, the time taken for the procedure increases, the amount of stone that is left behind also increases, plus the amount of stone dust that is formed tends to increase, so which leads to more recurrence and then so instead of using flexible scopes, there are the other options that can be used. The second option that is making news and that is now available everywhere in India and especially with a lot of patients and using the technique at my center uh, for my patients is something called as mini perk or miniaturized PCNL. PCNL as you understand means that you make a hole in the back, go into the kidney, see the stone, break it and remove it. But now with the help or with the presence of lasers, there's something called as miniaturized PCNL in which instead of making a very big hole, you are able to make a very tiny hole put a tiny endoscope inside and able to clear the entire system. We can also pass a flexible rhinoscope through the system to see and so instead of making two or three holes with one hole, we can remove the entire stone and we can also use it to get to difficult to access places. Mini perk has different names like mini perk, ultra mini perk, uh, needloscopy. So all of these basically means the instrument size and the instrument number of French. So we have almost every scope available. So whatever scope fits or is suitable for the patient and his kidney is available. So with a minimum amount of cut, with no nephrostomy, no tubes, we can, we can remove even the largest of staghorn stones and completely clear the kidneys. The third option that is now going out of favor at many centers but we still deliver excellent results is called as ESWL or lithotripsy. In ESWL or lithotripsy, instead of making any hole or putting any instrument into the system, the patient is placed on a table and with the help of shock waves generated in the system, uh, the shock waves are focused at the kidney and these shock waves go and blast the stones and bring the stones out through the urinary system. If done in the correctly selected patients with less than a centimeter of stone bulk, ESWL is still now uh, unmatched modality for management of kidney stones which gives excellent results without any cut and without any need for admission or any surgery. 
So if you have a kidney stone and you are scared of the morbidity of a surgery, let me tell you that because of the presence of RIRS, MINIPERC and ESWL, the combination of these three modalities has made the management of even the biggest stones easy, not only for the patient but also for the doctor treating you. If you are looking for kidney stone treatment in India and you are researching for the best place to go to, then at Govinda Medi Center in New Delhi, India, we are providing the best treatment for kidney stones anywhere in the world at the most affordable and the most economic prices. You can always connect, to with, connect with me on Facebook, on my email or give a comment section below. Subscribe to my channel, ring the bell icon because in the coming days or the coming months, we'll put many videos of the various surgeries that we do, the various results that we have and various happy patients who have undergone excellent kidney stone treatment with us. Thank you so much for listening. Take care.